Hey, it's time for the Jazz Man Show. Stick around. We're going to be reviewing The Upside, starring Brian Cranston and Kevin Hart. We're going to be announcing some things coming up on Netflix, things you want to binge, and the lineup for Second Chance Saloon. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the Chaz Man Show. My name is Chaz Riddle and this is episode number 11. Now this morning I woke up and I went over to the movie theater and I saw the new movie The Upside starring Brian Cranston and Kevin Hart. This is the true story of a millionaire quadriplegic and the friendship that he forms with an unlikely down on his luck ex-con who happens to walk through the wrong door at the right time. They become friends uh, through a work relationship, but they also they form and overcome some obstacles that each man has. Now, I'm not going to give away too much of the story, but I will tell you that uh, Brian Cranston plays the millionaire, Mr. Lacoste, who is a business executive who loses his use of his body through a paragliding accident. And Dell is played by uh, Kevin Hart, is an ex-con who's just looking to get a job earn some money and mend some fences with his with his son and his ex-wife okay and there's there's a lot of things that go on between these two men that brings them together forces them apart but they kind of find out um, throughout the course of the movie that they're not that different from each other and they kind of want the same things anyhow this is a remake of a movie called Lay Intouchables that was made in 2011 starring Omar Sy and Francois Cluzet uh, this movie is great. It also stars Nicole Kidman. And uh, so now you've got uh, Brian Cranston, Kevin Hart, Nicole Kidman. And uh, Kevin Hart really holds his own in this movie. Now, Brian Cranston, all his acting is from the neck up because he's a quadriplegic. All he really does is he talks. But he talks, I mean, this is a world class actor. So when he talks, you listen. Even if it's simple nuances. There's a sequence in there about midway through the movie where you really feel the pain of this man. Okay? And then on the upside on the other side, when you see the relationship that's for, that is between um, Kevin Hart and his son, you feel the pain that Kevin Hart is going through. His name is is Dell. Anyhow, that being said, you see that their lives kind of parallel in so many ways, but so different in other other ways. Um, I really enjoyed this movie, and I don't want to spoil it for you. I could do that on another another show. Um, but I would just say this. Uh, no matter who you are, go ahead and pack a few extra tissues in your pocket um, because there are some definitely some tear-jerky moments in this movie. And uh, the audience that I saw it with, when it was over, people stood up and cheered. Anyhow, but again, if you want to see, right now, if you want to see the French version, it's on Prime Video. Um, it's called Lay Untouchables, made in 2011. In the comments section below, let me know what you thought of this movie. Uh, and uh, if you have questions about it that, uh, or insights that I didn't catch on to. Again, I'll do a spoiler show, but um, in the meantime, go check this out. I think you'll really enjoy it. Now, moving right along. Netflix uh, is going to be debuting uh, Punisher Season 2 on November, or excuse me, not November, January the 18th. There are 13 episodes for you to binge, and um, this will be the last season shown on Netflix because, as you know, uh, Marvel is sold to Disney, and Marvel, uh, the, uh, the Punisher is a Marvel character, so it'll be the, the last time that the Punisher will be on Netflix. So binge it while you can. Once it goes off, we may have to wait a couple of years for Disney to get their streaming service in action and so we can start watching new episodes of Daredevil and uh, The Punisher and so forth. Now, if you're also looking for something else to binge on, I would suggest you go over to Amazon Prime and check out a TV show called Bosch starring Titus Welliver. Now, this is a guy you probably wouldn't recognize because of the name, um, but... Do yourself a favor. Give this guy a chance. Uh, I watched all four seasons that are available on Prime Video over the last couple of weeks. Really enjoyed it. He's a detective. He's uh, in search of uh, the guy that killed his mother. 
all entwined with the day-to-day -day activities of doing his job as a police officer and balancing a life uh, without a wife and also dealing with his teenage daughter. Okay, now if you want to take a look and to see who Ty Titus Welliver is, you can go on to YouTube and you'll find an interview where he does with Kevin Pollack. And you'll also find out that Titus Welliver is a very talented uh, impressionist. He has great impressions of Al Pacino and Christopher Walken. Dad, Titus Welliver is the main uh, actor for this, this TV show. It's called Bosch, B-O-S-C-H. It's available on Amazon Prime. And uh, that kind of completes the stories that I wanted to get to now. But I do want to announce that uh, the people that are going to be over at uh, Second Chance Saloon tomorrow night, January the 13th, now the show starts at 7 o'clock. Let's see, we've got uh, Troy Blackwood, Frank James, Stephen Baxley, Noah Miller, David Alfasi, uh, Salim, Fernando Madrigal, Will Thomas, Tim Trueheart, uh, Parker Brown is the host, and I'm going to be there too. So please come on over, and the show is free. So come on over, have a laugh, enjoy. Football's over for us, guys. The Ravens are not in the playoffs, so come on over and sit down and and uh, it won't cost you anything. Just listen and laugh. So that's it for this show, guys. Hope you have a good time. Stay, uh, stay off the roads if you can. It's, it's snowing out there right now. So be safe, and we'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.